Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So in this video, I want to cover how you can test for your damage per second, your DPS. This will be a lot more convenient if you're on PC, a lot more so-so if you're on consoles, but still manageable, and we'll get to that in its own section in this video. I'll put timestamps below. First things first, a quick showcase. What can you achieve? Well, you can enable a parser to show a little mini window right here, which will display your damage and your DPS. So right now, as we attack, we're going to deal damage and you can see also our DPS is going to go up when we deal a lot of damage in a short window. Just like that, DPS gone over 1.3 million. Total damage dealt 39 million. But what's actually happening is you're gathering all the data right here and then putting it through a parser, which is going to collect that data, analyze it, and then put it together. Here we can see exactly what is dealing what damage and then the DPS from that. And then we also have the ability to activate this little window as we see there. And we can customize it and everything as well. You can see the average damage of your hits, minimum, maximum, your critical rate of those hits. And then you have like effectiveness. That's like how many debuffs you have on the boss. If you have zero debuffs, you're at 66% normally because of the enemy's defense. And you can climb that up to yeah, 200%, like over 200% when you're in an artifact call. And then the deflect rate there as well, we can expand this. So if we have 100% accuracy, this is gonna show 0%. So let's run through how can you set that up for yourself so you can test your damage per second. Now there is a few parameters with testing damage per second that I want to cover with you. And that is the basis of time. So if we only do a very short test with let's say an artifact call, we're gonna end up with like really high DPS. That's over 6 million DPS, but that's not really respective of an actual fight. Over time, that's going to balance out. And so you need to have a test that's gonna be like at least four artifact calls, if not five, six. And so that's, yeah, over three minutes of a test. DPS is damage per second. And so the longer you're in the fight, the more everything will average out. So make sure if you are doing these type of tests here and getting your damage, that you're at least doing it for three minutes plus. Longer, the better. So if you're on PC, well, you can get that tool for that little window here. And let's cover how to install and set that up. Well, I'll have a link below. You can go to this website and get the advanced combat tracker for yourself. Click that and download it where you wish. And then you'll have to go through that and just install it as you would any other program. Recommend installing it where you want. Then you can go here to this link and you need to download neverwinter.cs. And again, make sure to put that neverwinter.cs file where you can find it. And you can get also ACT from here. It's just, it will give you a warning because it can't scan everything in a .exe file. Generally, don't download them from untrustable sources. And so, yeah, you'll get this warning. So you can just get it from the website and that shouldn't give you the warning. Links again below. But when you have that fully set up, you should have this advanced combat tracker here and you should be able to open it. So the first thing you'll want to do once you have it installed is go to plugins here, go to browse, find that neverwinter.cs file and go and open that. Then click add enable plugin. This will allow your advanced combat tracker to actually parse the data properly. Once that's enabled, we can go back to our main page, we can go back to our game and we can activate the combat log recording by typing in combat log followed by a space and a one and just hit enter on that. You'll have to do that every time you reload the game. Then you go, you jump in combat, and as soon as you start attacking, you will create these log entries and they'll all get recorded in a file. Now what you'll want to do is go back to your advanced combat tracker. You'll see it's already caught it there for me, but for example, for you, it may not have. And you'll want to go to options here and you should be on the miscellaneous tab and you'll need to go open log. Here is where you need to find where your Neverwinter is installed. For me, it's like in the Cryptic Studios folder here. You go to Neverwinter, then you go to whatever server you're on. We're currently on playtest. We go to logs, 
to go to game client and here's where you should see all those combat logs you need to go to the latest one click on it and click open now when you go in combat it will start recording all that data and so when we go back to the advanced combat tracker we go back to the main it should show up all here now if you want to open a file that you recorded earlier you can go to import export select file and go and open the file here and then since that's an older file it's already been all the data collected you can view all the data here in the log entries of each of those encounters you can go clear it again if you want and then when we go back into a fight since we have the log active it's going to record and display the data here you can pause that i believe here or close it if you want to as well however there are some settings with the advanced combat tracker that i recommend you set up you'll want to go to the options page here and mirror what i have that's what i recommend we don't have anything in sound settings that we've changed nor in text-to-speech i don't believe in any of these either but the changes come when we go here to general you want to make sure your times are the same you're going to go to encounter calling also have the times the same zones i recommend having these titles same with encounter view combat view damage type view and attack type view you can mirror what i have moving things around unselecting reselecting pause the video and check what i have and mirror that with what you have now if you do want to go and set up the mini parse which is this right here you click show mini and you can right click it to have like the border on it or you can right click it again to not have the border and then you can click through it as well and so when you're in combat it will show all the participants in combat and you'll get their damage and their dps to set that up you need to go and you need to add a preset right here and you'll want to fill it out like i have so the way you would do that here is you would go add a new line you click append and it's going to add at the end there you can move that by doing this we can also remove that and basically just add all these things in here just like i have set that up correctly sort it by encounter dps is what i recommend and then go and add text format preset once you've done that you can close this and you should be able to drop down the menu here and select one of them and once it's selected you're good to go you can change the font and stuff here i recommend having it like so but if you want to have smaller font like i usually do maybe you want it down size to like that but then i can also put it onto narrow bold instead so it's easier to see i'll just change the font up a little bit and then yeah so at that point you can also right click show mini and we can adjust the size of this thing and then right click it again and it's back or you can click through it you can play your game as normal otherwise you can click on it again and it disappears now there are other settings you can do i don't believe i have set any of these up but there is one which is the spell timers which is this here you click show mini and once you have that you can go and right click on it this will bring up a window where you can set up spell timers for yourself so i have something like for blade flurry you'll want to go and add and edit that if you wanted it howl of madness is particularly useful mithalar blast can be useful for team and web pits and then especially withering rain examiner's reliquary is very important and it helps a lot to have the exact timer on that again you'll want to go copy everything here and then go add and edit and once that's here that should show up anytime you have this little window here which again you can make disappear by left clicking and make it so that you can click through the window by right clicking and that's pretty much it for the entire advanced combat tracker just be aware that in general here you can merge the pet data with yours if you wanted to or you can unselect it i usually like to have it unselected as your pet's data is not usually representative of your own damage and it's not something really to be proud of i mean you can then check them separately versus each other all the pets when they're in different entries as well so that's easier 
But yes, there's a bunch of like exploring you can do with that. But ultimately, when you're in combat here, let's say we have the mini parser, you can go attack and it will record what's going on, what damage you're dealing, and then you can stop attacking. And as long as nothing taking damage or dealing damage, or you can just dismiss the guy, your tracker will stop. And that will show you how much damage you've done, how much DPS that's been. And that's basically uh, respective of how much time versus damage you dealt. And that equates to how much DPS you have on that ability. And you also have the overall one as well. Now, if you are on the PC preview server, you can take advantage of this buffer artifact. And it allows you to simulate artifact calls a lot better because it will cause you to basically deal 175 extra damage against the target, increase your damage by 25%, decrease their defense, awareness, and critical violence as well. And so you end up very similar to an artifact call when you're in a debuff window where everybody casts their artifacts in like a trial, makes the enemy take extra damage, each person who's cast their artifact. And so you can simulate artifact calls an awful lot better just by yourself here. Again, you would go like use the artifact, use your encounters, then you'd use your daily and your mount, and you'd be getting those nice big hits. Now, I recommend having like all your stats at 90% when in combat just as we have here, and also to be at about 90,000 item level, don't be much lower, don't be much higher, and then only have these damage buff companions, Mints, Neverwinter Night, Batiri, and have your enhancement, Rage of Flames. Don't use any gear that has any damage buffs. Don't use a companion bonus here that's going to give you extra damage like Armor Break. Just use stats to get the 90%, and then, just use all the powers you can. And I'm going to go and compare the DPS on setups exactly like this with other classes. That way we can get a very good look at the comparison between them. How well do the classes perform in a optimal scenario versus each other? So now we're going to go and jump to if you're on consoles, what should you do to check your damage? Well, you'll come to the training room. You want to set it here to 20,000 ratings and then make sure you have combat advantage, summon an ally, and then summon your boss. And you're going to want to kill this guy as quickly as possible. You won't have the buff for artifact, so your DPS will be a lot lower, but you can still get a decent amount. You should be able to get 600 to 700,000 just with a normal artifact and the rest of your mount powers and daily powers and everything else that you can possibly use. And it will all matter on the amount of time it takes you to kill this guy. If it takes you just five minutes to kill him, then you can see as this chart, your DPS is gonna be about 1.6 million in counter DPS. Now, this chart shows you the time correlated to the DPS you would have on killing that boss dummy when it's at 20,000 ratings. This is the clean chart here, just without the red lines we had with the example. I'll put a link in the video description below where you can view this, download it yourself, and you'll be able to zoom in and out. You'll be able to stick your own lines on it if you want. But yeah, this is the time here. You've got seconds in the smaller number, and then the minutes correlated to also the seconds just below that. So. If you take 10 minutes to kill this boss dummy, you can see that your DPS is going to be, yeah, about 640, 630,000 encounter DPS. I would say it's probably around the 9 to 10 minute mark you're going to get when you're solo without that big artifact call like you have on the PC preview server that you can use the buffer artifact where we can get upwards of yep 1.2 1.3 million encounter dps you can see an example test here on the wizard over four minutes long and you see that just there 1.264 million encounter dps you can also see the breakdown exactly there of what percentages each of the abilities doing and again you find all that from the advanced combat tracker just viewing here 
and you get your pie charts on everything you used so on and so forth it's a lot to learn and i can't cover everything in this one specific video but hopefully that shows you how you can set up everything you can copy my settings how i have it set up for the mini parser also for the spell timers and that way you should be much more easily be able to actually check what's your damage per second in neverwinter be able to compare it with other players if they make similar tests and you can work on increasing your dps by retesting yourself and trying to do another test and beat the score you had before i really wish they would add something to the training room that would allow you to see that just by being in game without needing any third party stuff and that would also help with consoles so you would have your own little window here or you'd press x and you'd see your own thing and you'd be able to see let's say the dps you'd be able to see the damage done and so you'd be much more easily be able to work towards improving that without having to yes go through the hassle of third party combat log parsers so hopefully this is all somewhat insightful and help some of you out there a massive thank you once again to all of these channel members for your added support and we'll see you guys around Goodbye for now.